Christmas Eve, everyone. Oh my Lord. It snowed again last night. We had some pretty high winds all night long while the front was blowing in. And this morning, whew, we've got about oh, another three inches on the ground, I would say. Poor Elsie, she is buried in snow. I wish we had room inside for her, but we don't. So she lives outside next to the garage. But uh, I have a feeling this Christmas Eve morning, Gary is going to be once again snow plowing the driveway. Oh, but let's uh, check in with Gary and see what he's got cooking. I can promise you it is something delicious. It's Christmas Eve. We got what, four inches of new snow. It's a beautiful day outside. Still snowing a little bit. Looks like it's going to be stopping here pretty soon. And the oven is making the house smell wonderful. I've got it. Well, that's, that's just the topping. Any guesses what Gary is making? I've made some cinnamon rolls. Just easy, quick, put together Pillsbury crescent dough and cinnamon and sugar and brown sugar and butter and all the goodness. They're not just cinnamon rolls, they are cinnamon bites. Well, yeah, little, little cinnamon bites, yes. Little trick I did. We'll be sure to uh, capture that they gooey goodness. Oh, 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 look at all the gooeyness down there. Oh, yeah, roll that around in there. All the juices in there. <laughs> They're just going to sit there for a little bit, and all the juicy juices going to soak up into the croissant roll and be even more delicious. This guy kind of laid over a little bit. Mm. Not bad. Cinnamon roll bites. A good start to the Christmas eating frenzy we're about to begin. Yes, we've got a few more things tonight. Once it cools, I'll just drizzle the cream cheese frosting on here. I didn't have powdered sugar, so I had to make do with other stuff. Uh, agave syrup, honey. Uh, what else did I use? Just other flavorings. So. Mm, gonna pass. <laughs> Do you have any sort of Christmas traditions food wise? Um, we kind of have one we started a couple of years ago and have continued through a little bit. Are you talking about our Christmas Eve dinner? Yes. Yes. Is that what you were talking about? Um, sure. Okay. Yeah. Same page. Yes. So tonight, uh, when we moved to Alaska, we figured we would start a new tradition of having crab at our Christmas Eve meal. Um, very different moving here. We used to always be surrounded by tons of family. And now that we are here, it's just us. So we're, we celebrate a little more intimately. Tonight, though, we do have some friends coming over to join us right. for dinner, so that will be nice. And then tomorrow, we are going to our big social circle here, uh, their Christmas party. So there's going to be around 40 of us tomorrow. Not, so, not here. At a, no, at a friend's house. At a friend's house. So, but tonight it's going to be here, and it's just going to be four of us, and just small and simple and informal. Yep. Let us know what your Christmas Eve tradition is. We'd love to hear. It's gonna be delicious. Well, here goes nothing. Mine didn't come out quite as neat as Stacy's did. But, hmm. <laughs> not too bad. Even without the powdered sugar? 
Even without powdered sugar, I made the frosting glaze work. Magic. I mm. guess it's my turn. Yep, get into it there, babe. It looks wonderful. I mean, you can't go wrong with a crisp apple. No. And a bunch of cinnamon and sugar, brown sugar, all the goodness. Oh, I see the eyes. Mm. They lit up. Wow! Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's even better than the Pillsbury cinnamon roll. Oh, of course it is, because it's Pillsbury. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is why we are not skinny people. <laughs> Gary feeds us well, and he has no complaint about my curves. I love her. She's amazing. <laughs> All right. Well, we are going to prepare our... Uh, Prepare for our company mm -hmm. in our Christmas Eve dinner. So yep. we'll check in a little bit later. So I mentioned earlier today that on Christmas Day, we are going to a Friendsmas celebration with a big group of our friends. And what we do is we do family Christmas bag presents. And everyone is to make something um, for each family so we have 13 families going tomorrow and for our christmas gift this year we are doing a barbecue rub uh, we named it qbbq rub we found it online and then we tweaked it just ever so slightly to make it our own and it is really really good gary's done a couple of test cooks with it and um i think it's a keeper so I just need to finish packaging, wrap it up with a bow. I just did these cute little labels and uh, this will be our gift this year. Last year we did um, homemade canned uh, bread and butter pickles from my grandmother's recipe on my mother's side. And uh, so we're sticking with the food theme and this year doing a barbecue rub. Claus, where are you? Oh. Santa! Should we look on Santa Tracker find out where he is? Or should we just cook some crab and call it good? <laughs> That's her being a drama husky. <laughs> Oh, we're getting zoomies. Try again. This is the glaze for the smoked ham. Mm. It's been a long time since we had Dungeness crab. Christmas turkey! Oh, it's looking good. Just hanging out. Just resting, not, not, well, not resting. Hanging out, it's a good one. <laughs> Gotta actually see where he's at. Take 
take the temperature. Look at that, it's already rising up pretty good. 123 there, 100 there. Oh, 114. Oh, it's rising quick. All right, target temperature for the breast is 145. We're cooking. Mm -hmm. Yummy, 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 turkey in my tummy. That's a 22 pound bird, 22 pound bird, spatchcocked. So what you do with that is you get your bird before you put anything on top of it. You put it so it's breast down and you cut the neck and backbone out of it. Put a little slice in the breastbone and flatten that bird out. You turn it over and flatten it out. And it looks like this. So it's kind of resting more flat on the uh, cooking tray. It cooks a little faster. Uh, there's more smoky flavor all around the whole turkey. And it's just kind of a cool presentation of a turkey too. So there you go. Yummy. Look what I did. I made a turkey. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Happy Christmas. Whoopsie. Merry Christmas. How's that sound? That's a little better. And Happy New Year to all of you. Well, Merry Christmas, everyone. Howdy, howdy. Today is Christmas Day, and mm -hmm. we are about to head over to our friend's house for mm -hmm. a friend's mess. Absolutely. It's going to be a lot of fun. We have a lot of families coming to join us uh, this evening at the friend's house. It's going to be a busy, busy evening. A lot of fun. Yes, last night we had a very nice dinner with our mm -hmm. friends, Jack and Val. It was just the four of us. Nice and quiet and easy going. Yeah, Gary did a wonderful dinner with mm -hmm. ham that and smoked ham was really good. Dungeness crab. And today, Gary's been working really hard since 7 a.m. this I morning. I got up at 7 a.m. and unbagged this beast and uh, cut the backbone out and spatchcocked it, so splayed it out on the uh, cooking rack. And put and some amazing seasoning on top yeah, of that. Yeah, a bunch of herb seasoning on there. And on the smoker since 8 a.m., I just took it off. It's now 2 o'clock, so wow, that's six hours. Yeah, so. That's a good smoke. We are about to head over to our Christmas gathering, and we just want to mm -hmm. wish you all a very Merry Christmas. I know by the time you have seen this that Christmas will have that's already come and, come and gone, but yes. We want to know the thought is there, yep. that we're thinking of all of you, wherever you may find yourself this holiday season. Yep. So. To you and your family, Merry Christmas yes. and a Happy New Year. And we will see you in the new year. In the new year. Hopefully a lot more than we have in the past. Sure. So. Sounds like a good plan to me. We're going to try. Yep. No promises. We'll see what happens. But we're going to try. All righty, guys. All right. Merry Christmas. See you next time. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Well, I'm all for Christmas All the happy smiles and the wishes And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe Tell me one thing Is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow Whatever we do, we will be alright These holiday wonders will open your mind May all your wishes tonight come true The love I live, the dream I knew This Christmas I only want to be close to you
a magical time full of kisses. Take a walk outside and tickle the snowman's nose. Moving nimbly, did you hear something from the chimney? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow. watching and we hope to see you again next week here on Living Free Alaska.